Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Lauren from Lauren's Cravings over on Instagram and today we're going to talk about the top 10 items that I would recommend for starting your breastfeeding journey. So just as a bit of background, I had my first uh, baby, a little boy, on the 6th of April 2021. I decided quite early that I did want to obviously try breastfeeding, quite stubborn so I really wanted to make a success of it. but with hindsight these are the items that i would now recommend to new mums or women wanting to try breastfeeding for the first time first item i'm going to suggest is syringes the reason i'm saying syringes and they can be like one or two mil syringes is for colostrum harvesting reason i think colostrum harvesting is beneficial not only could it be required after you give birth, if something goes wrong or you're not able to do skin to skin straight away or you need to go into theatre if you've got a bad tear, anything at all, or the baby's not latching properly, it just means that you are still giving them colostrum, you're still giving them breast milk um, rather than to have to supplement with formula straight away. It also gets you used to hand expressing, so it's safe. Obviously, discuss with your midwife um, beforehand or if you have history of preterm labour, again, make sure that you get approval before doing this. But generally, they say it's safe to start harvesting colostrum from about 36, 37 weeks onwards, so pretty much like full term. I did harvest colostrum and the benefit that I found was it got me used to hand expressing. So a couple of tips would be make sure that you're warm. It's really hard to actually get your let down. And if you have not looked into breastfeeding too much, you know, that you, that phrase might not be familiar to you. But you don't just generate milk straight away. Hormonally, you need to indicate to your body that there is a requirement for milk. Um, and that comes from either like the sucking of a baby or you hand expressing. It takes a little bit of time and then, you know, you will release milk as it were. Um, so that got me used to hand expressing, which was absolutely beneficial. Um, I didn't have any issues in labour or post labour. Um, mine went fairly smoothly, so I didn't have to use my colostrum in the hospital. But I actually have used it since. You can use it for a vast array of things, much like breastfeeding, but that is a video and all on its own. So my first one would be syringes. You can ask your midwife. Some health boards don't seem to give them out. You can purchase them on Amazon, one or two mil syringes. Second item for me is probably for when your milk comes in. So you will have colostrum for about three, four days after you give birth. Your milk normally comes in around day four, day five. It varies for some people though, so that's not obviously a hard and fast rule, but your milk will typically come in day four, day five. You will know your milk has come in because you will be engorged. Your boobs jump up about one or two sizes. They are rock hard. They are massive, they feel swollen. Even though I knew to expect that, it is a surreal feeling when it happens. So just to prepare yourself, they will be big. Um, so for that reason, I'd say breast pads. Now, breast pads you will use pretty much until your milk settles. So at least for the next, you know, six weeks, first six weeks. Um, a lot of women still wear them, still have leakage issues. Um, if I plan to be away from breast for any period of time, i.e. I miss a feed, or if you see sometimes, actually, if they sleep through the night randomly, you will sometimes leak or an advert milk pretty much you're damn sure it'll leak if they've been feeding through the night up until that point. So I'm showing you two different types. These are disposable breast pads. I got them free with Boots Parents Club. Um, the, typically that is just the, the, the disposable breast pad that you'll find. Sticks on and that goes against your nipple. Or these ones I got from a Mama's Milk Bundle. I'll tag this in the description. I would really recommend it. A couple of the items I'm going to show you are from the Mama's Milk like starter bundle. Um, they're washable, they're reusable, and they're thicker, so they last you a lot longer. I was so glad that Emily sent me these because these ones, pretty much, you're, you're going through them like, I don't know what phrase is typical, but yeah, they didn't last very long. And I know um, another girl I speak to on Instagram literally went through boxes of them because also, obviously, you need to wash these, so you need to have quite a few sets unless you're planning on doing a washing once, twice every day. So, breast pads. Now this next one is because I personally found it useful. Some people would not recommend it because they say not to introduce a pump in the first six weeks until your supply is established. 
Personally, I found it really helpful. So that is a silicone breast pump. Now this one again is from Mama's Milk. The one that you probably will know most commonly is the Hacker. The reason I would recommend this one, however, suction base, i.e. sticks to a surface really well, prevents toppling. It comes with a silicone stopper and it also comes with a lid. So that is one, two, three levels of protection for making sure that you do not spill any of that precious liquid gold breast milk. Um, also comes as part of the starter like bundle with Mama's Milk. Um, really reasonable. I found it really helpful in the early stages when I was really engorged. I found that Bryce had issues latching on to me. So you know what I'm saying? When you actually like you almost inflate, you've got that much milk. This does, it does have a suction element. So it's not, a lot of people call it a letdown pump. You know, like you put it on the other boob when the baby's feeding from one. There will still be a suction element. So it will kind of, you know, tell your body that it needs milk. Um, not as much as a, a manual pump where you're constantly sucking or a, an electric pump, but there is still an element there. So be careful in that regard. But I did use it to kind of take off that extra just that little bit extra bit of milk so that you could latch on. Because if you can imagine a balloon, if it's full of milk, basically the nipple, I was just kind of have like there was hardly any like nipple just because honestly it pushes right up and you can pull the amount of milk that you've got. Um, so it was really, really difficult. In the early stages, especially in the first couple of weeks, I found this so helpful and so beneficial. I was so thankful that I'd been sent it as part of the Mama's Milk Bundle because I had decided not to buy anything and see when you're already dealing with the amount you're dealing with I just and as much as I had used my syringes to learn hand expressing this just took the kind of grunt work away from it for you and really really helped. In the early stages if you are wanting to collect milk without the suction element so I was using specifically the silicone pump to remove kind of that little bit of milk for milk to begin with just to help him to latch on in the early stages as well though you are leaking milk typically from the other boob when you're feeding on one boob so i also get sent these collection shells now they will collect milk and they also have a little pourer here also in the mama's milk bundle cannot recommend it enough um without there being any suction so that means that you will not waste any milk having a little bit of milk is also good if you have cracked and broken nipples because they promote like wet wound healing it's called, have a wee look. Um, I'll probably do another video at some point on the issues that I had, specifically around like tongue tie, etc. Um, but this, like having a little bit of milk there is actually beneficial. So you can just collect it all together. Make sure that if you're mixing milk though, they're the same temperature. So if you have milk in the fridge and milk at room temperature, put them both in the fridge before combining them. Do not put room temperature milk into like refrigerated milk. Um, another thing these are really useful for is your wet wound healing. So if, I mean, I'd stoted around sometimes with my boobs out. It's just what you're going to start doing, right? But if that you want to, if you've got damaged nipples, you put a little bit of breast milk on them. Basically, you put this over the top of your boob and your nipple will sit inside. Because obviously, if you want to put your bra back on, it would just remove the milk. Whereas if you have this collection shell on, it will actually like have just air and you can put your bra back on and clothes back on. It means you're not stoting about totally topless. So dual purpose, very, very handy. Also, if you end up with damaged nipples, I still use these. So if I find that I have the odd crack nipple, I actually had like a milk um, bleb, like a milk blister um, and use that with my breast milk to promote wet wound healing, really handy. Another item that I was really glad I was sent, um, a lot of people would probably discourage you from having them. Interestingly, in Europe, a lot of people use them in the early stages because it can be quite difficult. Um, Bryce had a tongue tie, so I was in quite a lot of pain. So this is like nipple shields, just silicone nipple shields. If I hadn't been sent these, I don't know that my breastfeeding journey would have been a success because specifically on my right side, I had to feed Bryce using a nipple shield for a couple of weeks um, because I was in agony. It was the only way I was able to feed him. Um, also expressing, actually, so I was missing feeds and I was expressing with this on my right side whilst feeding him from my left because my nipple on my right side had got that damaged. So 
they don't cost very much. You can add this onto your mama's milk bundle starter pack. Um, personally, I do recommend these to first time mums. If you don't use them, pass them on to a friend. You can obviously sterilise them and they can be reused by someone else. Just clean them with soapy water and sterilise them and they're good to go. Um, and as I said, they're not that expensive. So see, just preparing yourself and making sure that you have a successful breastfeeding journey. You don't want to be left in agony and not have a solution. So that's why, I, I mean, I, I don't use them now, but would I, would I buy them? Absolutely. Absolutely. They are worth having there. Um, considering, like, I think they're maybe like a tenner. Um, and I think this is maybe about like, is it 15 quid? Between 10 and 20 pound anyway, right? So 30 pound for the success of your breastfeeding journey because they were instrumental to mine. Because I had sore nipples, um, I did try quite a few different creams and lotions and potions. I have two that I would recommend. So not only would I recommend your own breast milk with wet wound healing with your collection cups, right? That is number one. Um, I also would recommend your Lansino nipple cream, the purple tube. So that was quite good. However, it did not hold even a torch to these multi mam compresses. They were fantastic. So I got all these from Boots, basically intensive nipple treatment for breastfeeding mothers. They're just little patches. They come in a little sachet. Um, I did use them for longer than they say on the pack. I think they tell you you're meant to use them for a period of 30 minutes, maximum of an hour. I took them on and off again all throughout the day. And if you don't feed through the night or if you give one boob a rest through the night, generally if I put one on, I slept with it. In the morning, it felt significantly better. So I think there's different ones, but um, laminated compress impregnated with a bioactive gel. Um, Cannot recommend these ones enough. So it's the multi mam compresses. Just as a wee bonus item, because I'm talking about things that help your nipples, Emily had sent me these. So silver cups is another thing that you can use. Um, and it's using your own breast milk. So collection shells, but silver cups. And then these little shells, she hasn't released them as a product yet, but I did use them and I did find them really helpful. They're just a cheaper option to the silver cups. You can look that up um, to the benefits of that. And it's just a natural way to promote healing with your breast milk. Now, it's a really simple one, but critical, critical, critical. Extra, extra, extra long charger. I think this one's about three meters long. Reason being, you will be lying on the bed, you'll be lying on the couch, you'll be lying, you'll be lying, you'll be sitting, you'll be lying. Cluster feeding ain't no joke, people. I have numerous numerous, numerous of these, I think about three or four dotted around the house and I still use them because I am still breastfeeding. When you're breastfeeding, you're generally stuck to one place and your phone will be your best friend, especially in the night feeds, especially when you're stuck in the couch, especially in the first six to 12 weeks when cluster feeding is still happening. Get yourself some long mobile charging cables. Um, I have linked the ones that I got from Amazon. They're really quite good and a highlight on my Instagram page um, if you want to get the same ones, but invest because totally worth it and you will use them. So nearly at the end, we've got two more to go. So these two items are for ease of breastfeeding. Okay, so one's for out and about and another one can be for out and about, but is more so for the house. So I was sent, it's called a top pop and muslins, which have a hole in them for the top pop. So basically you put the top pop through like so, and you do the same again with your bra strap. So if you see this, and it's easier to do it in your bra strap actually first. So I'll do that just to show you. But if you go on, they do have an Instagram and also um, Emily of Mama's Milk has done a video. So if you go here, pull through like so, and get the whole end of the muslin, and then it attaches like that. So I am going to take the, like that, okay? And basically, that means when you're breastfeeding in public, especially in the first couple of weeks, because you're anxious naturally, right? I found this really helpful. I don't really use it so much anymore, but in the first few weeks, um, 
depending where I'm going as well, I do still take it. I have another one. So the pack that you buy comes with three of these and three muslins with the kind of hole in them. You can obviously modify your own muslins as well just by cutting a little hole. Um, but it comes in a really, really good quality plus their muslins, which is another kind of like newborn essential even an essential now that Bryce is like frothing at the mouth constantly and slabber, slabber, slabber because I think he's starting teething. Um, but it just kind of it helps you like build in confidence and just gives you that little bit extra protection um, without there being lots and lots of layers and whatnot. I found it really helpful and I did breastfeed in the beginning outdoors with the top pop. And last but not least, certainly not least because I still use this, is nursing pillow now i do have a favorite which is this one now you'll see i also have this one which is what i had in the early stages but if you were to ask me my preference it would be this one now i will link this one in my description um you're going to want to play around with positions to find one that suits you um, I used rugby ball hold in the early days. I am now on to like cross cradle and I actually do still use the nursing pillow because it frees up my hands. So if you have your feet up on a chair or like a poofy when I'm sitting on the sofa, it just means that I can actually have my hands free because you're not needing to support the baby because the nursing pillow is doing it for you. Um, also, if you want to eat because in the early stages, he always seemed to know when I had a hot meal. So it meant that I could actually nurse him and eat at the same time because the plate could be propped on the nursing pillow. Not so much now because he's so massive, so he takes up practically the whole pillow. But in the other stages, it was really beneficial for that. Um, as I said, I would recommend that one because it actually retains its shape really well. The other one's quite flat, so it, it kind of sunk a bit. It's trial and error, really. I will recommend one, put it in the description, but totally up to you. Worthwhile investment. It's also, I also take it out when we're going out for a day trip somewhere because I tend to sometimes go back to the car to feed or when we arrive somewhere I feed so that we know I'm getting kind of like a long time out of them. And it just means that I can put that over myself and it's just a lot more comfortable. Um, especially I've got quite a big chest. So I find like propping him up or like holding him on, um, I just find it a lot, lot easier. If you also have a big chest, just a little tip, um, I had in the early stages was you can roll up a muslin and just kind of like prop it underneath your boob to lift it up a wee bit if you find that helpful at all. Um, as I said, I don't really do that anymore, but in the early stages to find what works for you, you try lots of different things. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, you can let me know if you yourself have any additional items that you found critical in your journey or if you have not started or are just at the beginning of your journey. Firstly, well done and congratulations, um, both on your baby, but also well done for choosing to breastfeed. Um, it is not for the faint hearted and it is a slog. Expect that it will be hard at times. Do not give up on a bad day. Reach out for support. All us breastfeeding mamas, trust me, we have been through it. We are there to help you out. So do not be shy in asking for any help advice. As I've mentioned, I can be found at Lauren's Cravings on Instagram. Send me a wee DM if you want to. I don't mind if you have any questions. As always, guys, please like and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate a comment um, to show that you like this video because um, I'm enjoying making them. It does take a wee bit of time. And as always, and I say it in each video, I am utilising Bryce's nap times to make these videos. So um, if you could engage with them, I would really appreciate it. Uh, let me know if there's any other topics that you want to hear about or read about or see. Um, I will probably be recording Bryce's journey with tongue tie at some point soon as well. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.